Okie dokie, let's play Marth Fox, Fountain of Dreams. Fox not gonna have a lot of room uh, to maneuver around us here. And they're gonna be holding away. We're down, I'm gonna get punished. Ooh, that was nice. Wall jumping right when I could hit them. Uh, that's how I can still go down for this back here, even if they go low, and if they go too low, um, we can just grab the edge. Whoa. Strange movement coming out from this guy, but that is okay. So anyway, we're on the stage. We're gonna press in with this. So this person likes to do some big approaches. I think they lost their jump. They did lose their jump, didn't recognize it, so they were quite low. And they saw me move away, wanted to get the punish, but I was long gone. Whoop. They went low, they went under my, um, my jab, which was good. Oops. Good, they were, they were really able to go under it. I didn't think they would go for it. I'm just gonna fall back this way. Double jump to edge so I can go around attacks like that. Notice I went low, hit with the early part of back here, which does start below Marth. And that was it. Good. I think I could have double jumped around that. Well, barely got the shield out in time. This person really wants to kill. We're gonna try and see if we can not give it to him. And of course, we are gonna be able to push them off the stage. We were able to shield both of their attacks. We are gonna be going in, and they're gonna be going Peach on FD. Now, this is gonna be a stage, it's gonna be fine. Peach is gonna pull a turn up here, which is gonna allow her to pressure me really well. Our main attack we have to watch out for is actually a uh, down smash. Or not down smash, dash attack. But I guess we're gonna get down smash first, so it's whatever. We're just gonna go over her. She's gonna get under me, which is great. Now I'm finally back in neutral. I'm gonna just put her Peach this way. Peach has no float, has to up B. Well, kind of messed that up. Well, We're barely able to get there with the back part of our uh, down air. So notice I'm gonna shield. I don't wanna shield against Peach, but there's only so much we can do. There's our dash attack coming out a little bit late. Try to snipe Peach out of the air. Something Marth really does like to do. Notice I'm gonna wait a little bit just to make sure my mo my knockback momentum doesn't stack. Oh. Uh, looking for a down smash there. Didn't get it. <laughs> they just went for it. Didn't see that coming. So again, where Peach wants is Marth to be high in the air or above her in shield or something like that. Um, what I want is for Peach to get in the air so I can beat her out cleanly. Yeah, good, uh, good. Attack there. Yeah, as you can see, I had the right idea. I had Peach in the air. Just kind of a little bit ambitious there. Peach's body being quite small is going to make it a little bit hard for me to get a punish. Very strange. There's our dash attack again. Peach is going to be able to fall down with that four year. Going to cover a lot of ground with it. You can see that was kind of holding away there. They were kind of uh, holding down to see if they could get their uh, fast fall out or something else. We're trying to hit our float so Peach doesn't get that. Wow, very surprising tactic. Never seen that used before. I really want to get this forward, forward smash, but I'm uh, throwing a lot for it. And unfortunately, I'm going to throw that stock for it. But you can kind of see how if I'm putting the Peach off the stage, what I want to do is just kind of make her burn her resources. A B. And so that's kind of how that works. How Peach could have teched that, but hopefully that kind of makes some sense to you guys. How you're trying to make sure Peach is burning her resources off the stage. She can air dodge if she wants, but normally you're able to pressure her out. Now, of course, if Peach is coming in with these aerials, I can always just kind of poke her first. But um, you have to make sure you do them in a way where you can still hit Peach if she air dodges. So if I want to do it down tilt, I make sure I do it early enough. So if Peach air dodges, I'm still able to grab or at least hit her with another aerial so she's back off the stage. Or ideally, I do a late forward air. So that way, if Peach air dodges, I have plenty of time to reposition.
Um, of course, you want to ideally let the light forward air be weak at mid or high percent so you can convert it into a better punish. Strong at low percent so you so Peach has enough stun to where you still have advantage on hit. Um, but yeah, the Peach was making a, very, a lot of unorthodox decisions, which were working pretty well against me. I wasn't expecting the Peach to come into me so much. But you kind of see those are good decisions then if the Marth is prepared for it. Um, but of course, you know... I'm sure many Marth players out there will know that if the Peach is going to come directly into you, you just up tilt, you forward air, you up air, you dash back and pivot grab, things like that to beat the Peach out. If the Peach is going to be very liberal with her dash attack like she was in this scenario, what you would be doing is shield grabbing it, dashing to the end of it, letting the end part of it hit you, which is not very strong, holding down and grabbing it, or, you know, you could forward smash up be it if you wanted to. Just kind of depends on what you want to do. Um... And uh, for the turnip, you saw I was doing some counter. I was doing Nair, let the first hit hit the turnip, let the second hit hit the Peach. For forward air, for Peach's forward air, um, she, her crown is out for a little while. It does beat Crouch Cancel very well, and it's out for a lot of the time Peach is in the air when coming down. So it's a strong move. You can still beat it out with your forward air. If you're more under her, you can up tilt. Um, sometimes you just have to juke it or just pressure her landing. That's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. Um, but of course, you did see that when I was directly below her, I was able to beat her out a little bit more. I was able to forward air a little bit more cleanly and beat Peach out in the air. Things like that. Hopefully that makes some sense to you guys and uh, even though I didn't give the cleanest display, I still showed how you can get some grabs, how you can pressure the Peach, but also on Peach's end, you can see how if Mart's in the air, it's okay to use your dash attack, get under him, pressure him, how you can be a little more aggressive sometimes, if, especially if the Mart's going to expect you to play a little more passively. Anyway, uh, GG's two ears, and uh, thank you for playing. All right, now we've got Marth Mario. If you ever wanted to know what to do about floating mid-tiers, this is the game for you. We are going to... We are going to make sure we grab the edge a little bit late so Mario doesn't immediate up B, get a punish on us. Now we're going to go ahead. Whoop, almost got that again. But you can see we held down. Notice we held down on the platform so he can't really do much to us. Getting into the air. Um, good for us as Marth. I got an edge cancel. We weren't really expecting that. Let's push the Mario off the stage. We don't want Mario hit the uh, hit the ground. Push him back out. And we come out with a back air, even if it is uh, weak. It's going to still push Mario far enough. His up B doesn't go that far. So we're going to dodge around here. Mario jumping. Could have been very tough for him. Oh, a little bit uh, slow there. And then I missed my DI, and so that's going to be a couple things that kind of come together for this Mario. And that's good for him. Missed there uh, holding down. So now we're going to get our own punish. Oh, they're going to have a great crouch right there. They thought I'd go to edge again because I'd been going a little more aggressively off stage. Oh, I'm going to just roll up. I thought there was going to be a tornado coming out. A Mario tornado, that is. His down B. Oh, thought we were going to get our jump again. Jumping out of stun a lot. I really want to hit forward air, forward smash, but it's not easy to hit on Mario. Now, you don't have to go up and run up and grab this much against Mario. It's really not necessary. What you, All you really need to do is just space on him. If you space on Mario, there's not really much he can do. I'm just kind of going for these kind of reads like that because it's kind of fun. Now we're going to be switching into a Marth Ditto. It's going to be a little bit more competitive. We're going to be getting a... Uh, oh, we kind of both went for our crouch here. That is okay. Good play on the Marth's part. Whoa. Good stuff. Caught me going towards the edge with the down tilt. Give me a clean first stock from uh, Cafalon. We're going to go ahead and punish him right back. Well, we did miss. And delay our second hit a little bit. We're below Mart, so our forward is going to come out at a better angle for us. Oops. A bit of a mistake on my part there. That's okay. Yeah, we'll just forward smash. Nothing to worry about. Now, Mart's going to come back. He's going to be invincible. He doesn't have a way to cover himself really well on the edge there. Oh, I think I could have got that down there. That's okay. A lot of holding in. We're just going to punish. 
We just turned around with our side B. We knew I had plenty of time because the other Marth was far away. They did DI our um, neutral B away. Oh, that's a shield grab. You can always you can always move under um, down tilt. Of course, Marth coming up with up air is going to be able to trade with down air. They had been coming in with uh, Nair a lot. Whoops, a little bit, space a little bit too far away. So you can see these Nairs coming in. Um, just very ambitious plays on the person's part. They really wanted to get the punish. They really were in an awkward spot a lot of the time. They had a really good first stock, um, but once we saw that they were kind of... Um, they were kind of coming in really quickly. We just played slightly more passively and turned things around on them. We called, we called out a lot of the Nair approaches, and we also made sure that we would be a little more patient when we were on the edge. We just re-grab a little bit more, or um, you know, we make sure we hit them a little bit harder because we saw that we were really going to need to. We called out them holding in on the fourth third. Right? Mario actually didn't do that. And uh, what we really needed to be doing was... Um, what we really needed to be doing was uh, making sure that we were working our down tilt, making sure they felt the pressure of it. But because they were jumping already, we didn't even need to down tilt very much. So we could just hit them out of the air. We started nearing early in order to do that. So our strong hit is out when their weak hit is out. So our strong hit is going to be able to beat them out. And um, of course, we could have been fairing to beat Marth out of the air too. Um, when we put Marth in the air, we kind of noted how our forward air and back air, because we were below Marth, it's going to come in a better angle. Forward air is going to start above your head, which is going to be in a, in a diagonal. It's going to be a good angle to beat the Marth at. If you're back air, you do need to back air early, but then once you do, it's going to be coming up at a high angle behind your back and that's going to be able to hit the other marth at a better angle than their forward air or even down air can as well you just have to make sure that you're timing it a little bit better because it's a little bit harder to do now if the marth is more beside you it's much easier to do that because your back air cannot space the other marth's forward air and things like that now let's see is there anything else you really want to be talking about of course the mario game um we just take some unnecessary risks like i kind of called out earlier but we also made sure that we um we also made sure that we were putting the Mario in the air, and then we went out with some easy edge guards too. Pretty straightforward stuff. We just made sure we forward air the Mario. We made sure that we've down tilt occasionally, make him pressured. I called out how it was a bit of a bad habit. I was going in for grabbing on Mario's shield. You don't need to be doing that. I was kind of doing it for fun. We talked about how important some of the down holding was to break a lot of the combos. Hopefully you guys found some of that stuff interesting and you saw some useful applications of it. And uh, yeah, the Mario Marth uh, dual match hasn't been seen before. We're going to be seeing that now. Hopefully you guys thought it was interesting. And GG's to Cathlon.